Load shedding now. Yeah, we are. But hey, we just keep going. We just got to carry on. the difference. Yeah. Got to carry on. Okay, and talk about carrying on. Yeah. We've covered the new Beijing X55 quite extensively on the channel already. You did carry on because you quite like that. I am so impressed. Mm -hmm. I am really so impressed. Mm -hmm. They had a glittering launch event two days ago. Okay. You went there because you were you were loafing down in Cape Town and, and ziplining and whatever. I was on Canyon. I sent you off on Canyon duty speed, instead. Yeah. 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 Okay, so you lost terrible. out on that one. Terrible, terrible. But what was interesting or different about this launch event, and let's just touch on that scene as we've got a few moments, was we drove in the day. Mm -hmm. Not that much, but we drove. But then again, I've had plenty of experience in the car, yeah. so I don't mind. Because yeah. remember, I was the first in the country to get one on test. Uh -huh. And we then had an evening event mm -hmm. where there were dealers and VIPs and special guests and media all at one event. Ooh, dealers. Yeah. Mm. And some of the first people who placed orders for the cars. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Okay. So they were all there okay, okay. as well. So it was quite a glittering event. And only then did they reveal the official pricing. Oh, really? Yeah. So that's what I really wanted to we touch got, on. We've got an inkling of what it was going to be. Yeah, we were given a ballpark. Yes. And I was given even... But anyway, that's beside the point. Talk to me. Confirmed. So you got the, now they, they changed. I was, I called it level one, two, and three, but they're calling it elite and whatever. They, the elite and the top one's premium, but it doesn't matter. Okay. They all got that same 1.5 turbo, mm -hmm. uh, 130 kilowatts, 305 Newton meters, seven speed dual clutch automatic. Okay. And quite a lot of, quite a lot of Newtons for a petrol. A lot, mm -hmm. lot. Okay. Yeah. It got talk mm -hmm. and it talks the talk. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the luxury spec again on the top one is silly as we know. Mm -hmm. Listen to these prices. Mm -hmm. Base spec, mm -hmm. 395. Mm, under 400. Under 400. They, were, okay. they said 400 to 460 originally. Okay, yeah. Three, um, 394, 900. I'm calling it 395, okay? 425. Okay. 455. 454, 900 sure. for the top one. Now, again, with everything, and although they're calling it a crossover SUV, it's much bigger than most in that. Ca in, it's, it's, I'm calling it a medium SUV, quite honestly. Mm. And then you understand how silly that price is mm. relative to that. Mm. It really is. It comes, of course, with standard five-year warranty, mm -hmm. five-year 150. Mm -hmm. But then they, at the moment, giving an additional two years. Oh, really? And so it's a seven-year 250. Wow. Transferable. Oh, really? Okay. They, so they, just, they're, they're having a little... A little dig at somebody. One of their, somebody one of their mean, fellow countrymen. We, we, we don't know who yeah. that would be. Yeah, one of their fellow countrymen yeah, yeah, no. is getting a little dig in the ribs with that <laughs> point there, okay? <laughs> okay, a quarter of the warranty, but okay. Yeah, yeah. But, but transferable. Transferable. I mean, still, look, seven years, 250, you're still doing a whack of mileage. Very, very few people do that. Yeah. Okay. Then what they're doing is there's no service plan. Okay. But you can get a five-year service plan for 16,800 Rand. Okay. Which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. But, you know, but there's more. But there's more. If you order one this year still, they're throwing that in for free. Oh, really? Yeah. 16,800 bucks. 16,000 bucks. Ka-ching. Thank you. I'll have that. Exactly. Sure. Okay. The so other that's, that's not a bad deal. <laughs> the not other a bad big deal. thing wow. and the big news, you know that... They built a factory down in Kabecha. Old PE. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the factory is, it's taken a bit longer, but COVID and, and, and there were delays with the factory. Okay. They are busy. And this is a very interesting point that was made to me. I just the watched Star paint Wars. Shop, is it fully operational? The paint shop is busy being finished as we speak. Okay. And I was told this by them and other industry that if you have a factory, Yes. And you put in a paint shop. Yes. Means you're in business. Okay. All right? Because the cost and the investment, etc. In a paint now shop, you know it's that substantial, yeah. The no. IDC, no, Industrial a... Development Corporation, put up 50% of the money for this. Okay. All right? They were represented and spoke at the event. Right? Okay. I mean, we're talking something like 16 billion rand so no, far. No, it's a lot of money. It's a big whack. Now, the big news is X55 will be assembled locally from March next year. Are they importing it as an SKV or are they going to 
I fully manufacture. Ooh, the, power's back. And then there was light. Um, are they going to fully manufacture? I don't, I can't answer that as yet. Okay. But uh, cars no, are coming out of that factory. Cars are going to come out of that factory okay. from, they say, hopefully from March. Cool. So that's the news on that one. Cool. And that's big to me that's because, you know what? Job creation. Well, and now they've got to look after those cars because you've got a bloody great big factory there. So if you don't exactly. get that right, guess what's going to happen? That's it. So that's it. That's that's a significant commitment. Yeah. To their brand. So there you go on that. Great. Point, okay? Great. So all good news as far as I'm concerned. The best news being job creation in the Nelson Mandela Bay area, as they call it. That's what's needed. That's what's needed. Excuse the little explosions from the side. Aside there. from occasional sneezing. Yeah. So the. X55. Now, let's just throw something in. Bike, Beijing, X55. Is that Beijing the correct? Beijing by is that bike. The, is that the correct? Beijing from bike. Beijing from bike, X55. X55. What right. they're doing. Is that the correct nomenclature? What they're doing is, and we had quite a discussion on this point. Yes. <laughs> Forget the little cars that have been around a bit. Yeah. You, we're talking the B50, the yes. Series 4x4 off road. Yes. Okay. That is a bike. Yes. They're going to go SUVs Beijing. Okay. All right. So they're doing a, I'm sure nobody will mind if I say, a Lexus Toyota type of arrangement. Okay. Okay. Where okay. they're splitting the brand between okay. the two. Okay. And you can see where they're going with mm. it. Mm. I think. I believe. Okay. But now the other thing I've got to just tell you that is very exciting. Mm -hmm. When I first saw the X55, yes. that front, yes. I thought it was an electric car. <laughs> Because there isn't an actual grill. I, I may have made the point in the in the in the previous video that yeah. actually some guys who had an electric manufacturing facility at the same place where the car was located at the time came to us to say, "Can they plug the car in, please? Because I need to test something." I was kind of like, yeah. "No, it's mm. petrol." And they're like, "Oh." Now, okay. what I'm where I'm going with mm. this is that is a brand new platform. Okay, yeah. it's a new one. Yeah, that platform has been designed from day one to take hybrid and electric okay. with Good. no changes, with no structural so effort it, it, whatsoever. Basically, swap engine, good to go. Coming soon. Okay. Watch this space. The and they say there will be more models coming soon too. What's interesting about it is the hybrid space is largely dominated by you know who. Yeah. And it is set to change, I think it's going to change, you know, the S curve. We have like a whole bunch of non changes mm -hmm. and a massive change in, and in a very short period of time. I think we're at the bottom point of the S curve when it comes to hybrid and NEVs. Look, and now I'm waving the hands in front of my own no, face, not no. yours. So I've said before when we had but this I discussion think, on I it. I think in the next two mm. years, there'll be a lot more hybrid. It's going to be hybrid or nothing. I still believe, and I'm going to say it, South Africa, hybrid, hybrid is the right model for us. For the next five years, at least, yeah. I think 10 years, yeah. hybrid makes a million times more sense than fully electric. No, I. I Takes away all the range anxiety, yada, exactly. yada, yada, yada. I'm and until, until we get S-Class money for, yeah. you know, 800 Ks on a charge, um, yeah, I think, two, I think two and a half million, it's sure. going to make, it's going to make, three and a half, it's going to make, it's going to make the right amount of sense. And if, if for something now. else comes along in the future that's mm. now hydrogen or whatever it is, then it can come along in the future. Well, but maybe for we, now, we can have the benefits our market of running. For, as I said, I see 10 years minimum, hybrid is the answer. No, I disagree. My answer. No, five years, tops. Let's not argue that point. <laughs> right now, you're buying a car. No, I say hybrid is the way I'm to go. Just disagreeing to disagree. No, yeah, I know. No, typical. It's a guess. Typical. I mean, it's a total guess. But yeah, five five years, I think, is 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 where it's. So where it's I know we've given this Beijing a lot of coverage. Yeah. But I'm pretty excited about it, as you know. It'll be interesting notice. to see how it sells. Again, in the category. I want to see. It is. You know, so I don't read other journalists. Yeah columns i don't mm. watch other people's videos because i'm loyal alan i'm loyal you know this is what i do well otherwise but, i wouldn't pay you that's why <laughs> you don't pay me <laughs> <laughs> i do in kind <laughs> and i'm not telling you what kind can't, of kind can't, can't eat um, so it, 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 it it's a case of and i also don't want to be prejudiced by it i mm. want my own opinions on these things and that's why i don't i don't generally seek these things out but on the beijing i am going to seek them out because there are a couple of things that i'm mm -hmm. interested in hearing what other people think about the car and let's see what they say, and then we. The other thing I've got to just tell you to is revisit them. when I had it on the full test a few yes. weeks ago. Yes. That car attracted more attention from passers-by yeah. than ninety-five percent of test cars I've had. Yeah. No, and no, I'm no, talking no. even when you're in a top top-end Merc or whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. And they are there. And you know what that says to me? Mm? 
it says to me that actually all this nonsense about our millennials and what have you not being interested in cars is actually a bunch of nonsense. Exactly. They are actually interested. They We've left out so. something vital on this whole talk mm -hmm. on it, Beijing, which I'm sure we touched on in the previous video. They vital. have a joint venture in China with Mercedes-Benz. Mm. And in fact, you know, they own a share of Mercedes-Benz International. I think it's 10% or something like that. What I'm saying to you is, there is certainly some borrowed technology with permission, not the carbon copy story we, yeah, we yeah. all w were talking about a few years ago. No, yeah, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Not, not, happen not happening anymore. I'm talking the genuine yeah. co-development, cooperation, call it one of those words mm -hmm. between them, that they are getting the benefit of Benz. And in fact, the company is called Beijing Benz. The benefit of Benz. Sounds good, doesn't wow. it? <laughs> so let's end it on that note. Let's end it there. From Exciting World times. and L. See you next time.